Welcome to another edition of Cody Videos. Today I'm going to show you the simplest way to fully back up your Cody system on Android. Now this also applies in Windows, except in Windows uh, it's a different file location. But I will try and show both in this video so that you uh, can simply uh, back up and restore quickly your Kodi setup on another device, let's say you have at home. So once you have your Kodi system set up like I do now and have all the add-ons you like to use, your favorites, your uh, views uh, changed so that you can see all the nice colorful interface, what you want to do is you want to exit Kodi Make sure all the add-ons are up to the latest update so that you don't have to get a bunch of updates when you load your backup. In Android, you're going to need a file explorer that shows hidden files. So either go to the Play Store or go uh, to your web browser and download the following uh add-on and install it es file explorer now when you run es file explorer for the first time you're going to get this white screen just let it load up and there you go es file explorer is great because it gives you the option to show hidden files so if you go in tools and scroll down you're going to get a show hidden files option that you enable all right i'm going to show you now what folder you need to copy to back up your Kodi. So I put in a USB stick into my uh, box. You can do that in your Windows too. Um, but in Windows, it's a bit differently. And I'll show that in another video, uh, which I'll post on my channel. Now, for Android users, what you need to do is uh, go to the local here and once you do that click on home you're gonna get all these folders here all right now what you need to do is click on android click on data and you'll notice here org xbmc cody click on that click on files see this dot cody folder click and hold so it's selected click on copy and what you want to do now is move that folder to your USB stick or another location. You don't want to move it, sorry, you want to copy it. So what I'm going to do now is press SD card, uh, sorry, USB here, because you can also copy it to an SD card if you want. So I'm going to click on USB. It's going to open this message here. You're going to click cancel. Wait, sorry. You click on it. And click OK. So there's the uh, my USB location here. I called it Cody, so I double click. Sorry, I click on Cody, and there's my USB stick stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to paste that .dot Cody folder into my USB stick. Now this is going to take a while, so you guys might want to uh, fast forward ahead in my video. Uh, basically what this is doing is copying all the contents of Kodi, all your files. Now I'm going to let you know that if you have a custom background image for your Kodi, make sure that that custom background image is located in the same place that you had it on your new device. Because when you copy this folder back onto another Android device, if the file's not there, the background won't be there. All right? So this is the simplest way to back up your Kodi setup if you want to put it on other Android devices in your house. Like I have three Android boxes, one for each TV. So I basically just copied this folder onto every box so that I kept my YouTube account, that I kept all my settings in Kodi that I personal settings intact on every single box so i don't have to go and add track tv again add uh my youtube account add whatever settings so this is going to take there we are so the backup finished 
Now that you finish that backup, it's very simple what you need to do. Now we copied it to our USB, that .cody folder. There it is, okay? So it's very simple as to what you need to do. And I'm gonna show you this. So if you go on to another system, and we wanna make sure that Cody is blank from scratch, right? So you're, you wanna copy this onto another system. Make sure that your Cody has nothing in it. So in my case, I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna get rid of my Cody here. So to clear out Cody from scratch on Android, you go to Cody. Some of you will see clear data right here. Others, you'll have to go into storage. And then what you do is you clear, click on clear data and click OK. What this will do is completely erase Cody and leave nothing in it. All right. So. When it's done, Cody goes back to its same stuff. Let's force stop, click OK. All right, now go back to your main screen on the new device and run Cody for the first time. You need to do this because if you don't run Cody once, the folder XBMC Cody will not exist. So now that you see, I'm on Cody Krypton. This works on Cody 16 as well. So when you're at your main screen, all you gotta do is exit the program. Once you're exited, go back into your My Apps or your shortcut and go to that ES File Explorer. All right, so as you see now, if I go to Home and then Android Data, there's the XBMC Cody folder. If I go to files, there's that Cody folder we copied earlier. But except now there's nothing in it because we erased Cody. So if I go to my USB stick and I go into my Cody, find that .cody folder, click copy. So wherever you stored your .cody folder, make sure you show hidden files, otherwise, which is in tools in this in um, DS File Explorer. Once I'm done, all right, these ads annoy me. Once I'm done, I go back to that at the top on the home folder that I was at, and I paste. I want to overwrite all the files, apply to all, and click overwrite. So again, this is going to take some time. I'm going to edit the video and skip ahead. But it won't take as much time copying from your USB to the box as it would copying from the box to the USB. It took me quite a bit of time, like 10 minutes to make the copy. I, I, I really don't fathom this day and age why it takes so long. My USB is USB 3. The write speeds are very fast. But the Android boxes, again, they're all about making money. Cheap parts, cheap speeds. To get the bit, best bang for their cheapest product and make the most money. That's how things are right now. So I probably don't have to actually uh edit the video because this is going pretty fast so once it's done copying all you have to do is close everything run cody again and you'll be back exactly like you were on your other device this is the easiest and simplest way but it is more time consuming it will take you uh 20 minutes versus seven minutes using the other methods I've posted on my channel. As you can see, we copied over from the USB. It was a lot quicker. I run Cody again. And boom, it's back like it was, just like I left it. This is the easiest method. You don't have to install anything except ES File Explorer to show the hidden files and then copy your whole .cody folder 
You can do this on Windows as well, even easier because Windows will copy even faster. But uh, I will show that. Uh, I've shown that in another video that I've posted. So check that out. Thanks for listening. And until next time, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Take care.